Hello everyone. Let me pull this here. Well, let's see if we get anybody live here. It's sure I'm live there. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And no comment. Well, that, oh, I see a comment. Well, that is good. That is good. Here we go. Find it, find it, find it. Oh, I got volume though. Well, that is good. Okay, let's hope that these scroll this um, tonight. Last week on the tablet, it didn't scroll. It scrolled on the computer, but it's so hard to see because I get all my bars right in the center there. I think we got it. Awesome. So tonight, uh, mm, it's create on the fly. Put it that way. I got my paper out not long before it was time to set up. So I got my paper out, I got my stamp set, and um, we're going to get jiggy with it. I plan to do a flip fold, um, a fun fold, but it flipped with the, I don't know why I choose that stamp set, because it's got a H in it. So if you're new following me, you know that. Uh, I'm French Canadian, been in the state over 30 years, but that accent's still there. And in French, we don't pronounce H. So if it don't make sense, put a H. And now people tease me so much that I try to say those H, but I put them where they don't belong. So you put a H or you take the H out and you're going to understand me perfectly. We are using, I'm going to try hard, hydrangea. hydrangea heaven it's two h's what was i thinking right they don't ask me when they put those name on those stamp set ah and it's funny because the stamp set that um, that's going to come out in the new catalog that uh, it was my vision put it that way um for my million dollar stamp set they had put an, an, uh, a word in that with the an H in it. I said, oh, no, 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 we cannot have that. So they changed the name for me. So let's get going. I'm going to flip you down and we're going to get going. Um, the bundle that I am using, it is a new bundle. Uh, it's not what I was planning to do, but my goal is that every Thursday night, if it's a stamp set that I got on my shelf that I didn't ink yet, that's what I'm going to be using. So this is what we're going to be using. I don't even know if I'm going to use the die, but I'm prepared to use the die. In my head, I am. First, I was not. Then I said, I think so. So, yes, Ollie, my BFF, it's Ollie. And I think everybody call her Ollie. Absolutely. So the designer series paper we're using, it is, again, it's 2H again, Hydrangea Hill, and you get front back, front back, or back front, whatever, because it's really, it's not a front or a back, but you get those print. It is so lovely. And uh, when we moved here in Texas about five years ago, yeah, it's been over five years already, I planted some. I get one in this color. And the other one, it's in the blue when it starts blooming. And at the end of the season, it gets more in the purple almost. So, a beautiful flower. They are chunkers. Then, if you're wondering uh, which page, I had the page open. And why did I shut the page? I don't know. I get excited to get going, I guess. It is on page 50. No, not 50. One second there. I had the page. Okay, let's go through the catalog to find it, right? Here we go. It is on, oh, I get something there. It's a glue dot, I'm sure. It is on page 20. 
So on page 20, you get the stamp set and then uh, the dies. My granite is snoring, by the way. And the previous page, 18, 19, that is the sweet. So when we're talking about the sweet, when you see the word sweet, don't fall off your chair when you see the big price, $88. Because with $88, you get a truckload. What you're getting for $88, you get the acetate, you get the stamp set, you get the die, you get the pearls, you get the ribbon, and you get the designer series paper. So you get all this. You still get 10% with the suite, but all, the 10% it's on uh, the stamp set and the die. Or right, if you don't want the entire suite, you flip to the next page, and here is the stamp set. If you just want the stamp set, the number is right below. And the bundle, it's there. Please, please, this I cannot repeat it enough. If you want the 10% bundle, the discount, you have to enter the number of the bundle. You cannot enter the number of the stamp set, then the number of the die. The computer, it's not smart enough to say, oh, she wanted the bundle. So we have to be smarter than the computer, and you have to enter the number of the bundle. And you get always the little emblem. Also, in the dice, it tells you if it fit in the mini, or if you don't see the mini sign, that means what, at least one of the die will not fit in the mini. You need the big one for that. Okay, okay, now let's get, let's get my thinking cap on, and like I said, I get a sheet of cardstock. Okay, I get this print of paper that I plan to do. I get Whisper White, well, it's basic white now. That's going to be a tough one to remind myself. I got a Seaside Spray and uh, another H, why not? It's the H night. Highland Heather. So everything, the stamp set, the paper, the ink, it's all double H. My goodness, that is scary, isn't it? So I want to start with, um, I think this is four and a quarter. Yeah, four and a quarter, and then I'm going to score at five and a half. And five and a half, half of that, it's two and three quarter. I'm going to go at two and a half. I don't want to go right, so two and a half. Let me tell you the math in a second, okay? Don't worry. I think that's what I want. I don't have a clue what I'm doing, but I know it's going to be good. So, what I got here, it is eight inch long by four and a quarter, score at five and a half. This is what we got. Okay. Okay, you guys like it when I mark the... Let me... Um, so when I repeat the size, I got a scrappy paper there, and I, I write my uh, penmanship, I think that's what it's called. It's horrible. So the seaside spray, it is 8 by 4 and a quarter score at five and a half okay now next one so when we're done i can repeat my measurement the next one i want about mm, one inch so um i'm gonna go at three and a quarter gonna go at three and a quarter and then i want so that was one inch I'm doing the math here. I'm sorry. Um, one, five, and I'm going to go score at um, four and a half. Score at four and a half. And then four and a half and four and a half, that give me eight, nine, nine. So this is going to be nine inch. Let's see, maybe I'm going to shrink this here. No, that's going to look good. Okay, so our Highland Heather, it is three and a quarter by nine 
score at four and a half. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we're getting there. We don't know what we're, I don't know what I'm doing, but that's the way I create, my friends. Now, next one. So um, this here, so that means that was four and a half, because we scored that four and a half by um, three and a quarter. I'm going to go and get three inch, three by two, 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 four and a quarter. And that should be for my insert inside. You bet. And I'm going to put the white insert here too. So that's going to be four and a quarter by, what did we add there? There, um, two and a half, two and a quarter. So two and a quarter by four. Okay, so we get that and that. Now, I need a piece right here so that's it's exactly a quarter sheet so I want this at four by five and a quarter that's gonna get there and then I need one here and that's gonna be the same then the white and that's gonna be um need to go which side it's going to go okay this way so that was two and a quarter the same than the white two and a quarter by four and you know what maybe this one's going to go this we'll see okay we got some bits and pieces to work with i'm going to keep that in d because i'm sure i'm going to add something else so now you you get oh we need um, on top here. Okay, let's wait with that. I'm not sure what we're going to do at the top. I want it. Well, you know what? Let's do. And if I don't like that, then we're going to use the die. Okay, let's do. Um, so that was what did I say? Three by four and a quarter. Three by four and a quarter. Or is it three and a quarter? No, it's three. Did I get you all confused yet? Okay, now we get that. Let's stamp that. Maybe I won't use the, we'll see. So let's get our stamp set out. Like I said, this is a brand new stamp set, never been used. And I'm going to take the lovely eye tarantula here. And I'm going to, and because it's photopolymer, I'm going to bring my phone. And if we wonder why I use that, it's because with photopolymer, you don't have like the cushion, like the red rubber. So you want something that you get a cushion. I'm going to use Memento Black. Here, voila. And I'm going to put that right here. Okay, and then I'm going to use, I, I'm going to ink my stamp with Seaside Spray. Get this seaside spray here. And first I want to see which way it's going to go. And it's bigger and that it's it's designed that way. Okay, that look about right. Okay, I'm gonna ink this with seaside spray, but then I'm gonna take a sponge. And I'm going to add some island ether to that. Okay. 
And then, because, you know, I waited in between, I go, I'm going to huff on it. Mm. No, that go at the bottom here. Here we go. Give a good impression on this. Et voila! I'm not a, a fan of how this turned out. I don't have enough purple. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a gorgeous grapes, just the side of my uh, sponge here. Oh, that's what I needed. Just a little bit. Et voila. Now we're going to take the stamp and we're going to stamp that with old olive that I got here. So you see, sometimes you, you think, okay, this is going to work, but I was not a fan of how it was not enough. So see, boom, it add, it was just what I needed. So now I got old olive here and we're going to smack that right here press that here et voila so now the decision is do I want to die cut it and put another layers or what? So let's see what we get here first. Before we decide to do anything crazy. Yeah, let me, uh, we're going to die cut that. Let me bring my little machine here. So now I'm going to need another topper there. And, oh, I need plates too. Okay, so I got plate number one. And then a plate number two. And remember, you don't put that flush, so then it engage easier. Now we're going to put this. We're going to put this. And I'm working sideways, but I think I got it. And then going to put this at the top. And roll on. And the crackle, that is normal, because you're cutting. Okay, let me remove this. <clears throat> Voila. And now let's see. Um, Okay, I need something else there. One minute. I'm looking through those paper here, and I don't really have pink. Ooh, the stripe would be pretty. That's too big of a print. No. Nope. Okay. I think I am going with this print, the back of this. So we're going to bring the seaside spray back in. So we need um, three, three inch by four and a quarter. It's going to go there. Just see? 
Okay, now we are ready to assemble. Now let's go. I got too much junk here. Where is Okay, we're going to reinforce this. And you know what? Before I put this away, though, inside, just this, we're going to keep it for our writing. But the bottom there, let me bring, um, I had a scrappy paper here. What we're going to do is just at the bottom, we're going to do one there so it's not so naked. And you want to do that before you assemble. Like so. And then we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a um, seaside spray. And then I'm going to do island ether. And I know I'm going to add the gorgeous grapes there. I'm pretty sure. Oops, I was way off, but it's still going to look good. Okay, let's use a tiny little bit of um, gorgeous grapes. And the way that I do that is just the corner here and... Et voila! So now I got that purple that I wanted in it. Okay, so let's mount. Okay, this is going to go here. And before I mount my flower, we're going to sponge all around it to make that pop. So, um, I'm going to take my sponge. Now I don't have to worry. I'm going to take the gorgeous grapes and I'm going to sponge this here. I just want to make that pop. I get some glue on my finger for some reason. Okay, and then I need some green for the leaves. And let me reach, uh, I got old olive here someplace. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Why do I have such a mess with little uh, pr um, thing tonight? Craziness, craziness. I just want to make these pop more. So that's why I'm going on the edge and adding darker color. And here, here we go. That's going to be good. We're going to call it good. I know, Carol, so many people, purple, purple, it's their color. So maybe this is going to take, uh, get many of you's attention because of the purple. And you know, I'm a blue fan, so I combine with the seaside because that's a little bit of a, a blue. Now we're going to put that right here. A lot of this beautiful print going to get... Uh, cover, but we still going to see quite a bit. Now we're going to put this one that we stamp at the bottom here. Got something dirty there. Okay, and then I'm not sure which one there, which print I want to do it there. Let's see if I want, I think I want to carry this. Yeah, so I'm going to put this at the bottom. This is the front here. And then we're going to glue this inside. So the back of this is going to get glue. 
Okay, never mind this here. Don't pay attention to that because if you pay attention to that, it, it's so hard to. So what you want to do is put it exactly in the center of this piece here. So I try to eyeball that. And then I need, we need a greeting. What we get in this set? Uh, we're going to pay, uh, oh, I'm going to put you make me smile. And I'm going to use uh, this funky shape here. And we're going to stamp that with Seaside Spray. going to smack that right here. And then, because I really want the the greeting to pop, I'm going to bring the uh, gorgeous grapes. And that was not part of, um, was not part of the, the supplies list that I put in the description of this video. So remember that you make me smile because I don't think that Island Ether is going to be uh, dark enough to make that uh, pop. So I'm going to go with Gorgeous Grapes. And we're going to bring that right here. Voila. this. I'm going to put that inside. And this, this, this. Now where is, hmm, here it is. And then we're going to have to tie a little bow there. So first let's pop this up. Okay, where's my, I need, oh my goodness, here we go. So, um, if you do what I'm doing there, be very careful. You can take your pick tool also for that. I'm just used with my scissors and I just pop those little uh, thing out like that. And then we're going to put that right here. Okay, now we need, uh, oh, you know what, those pearls would be awesome on this. Okay, you know what, let's add a few pearls. Here we go. Okay, that's not what I was going for. Oh, that would be cool too. No, I wanted the, here we go, the green. Oh, I already got a bow there. I'm going to undo that and we're going to do another bow. Okay, this is the linen thread in the old olive, uh, not old olive, but uh, mossy meadow. We're just going to do, you know what, I had a bow. So if you get some kink in that, just take your bone folder and then we're going to do hmm I th you know what I think we're going to do a double bow let's fold that in two here oh I need longer No, it's too gaudy for, um, nope, 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 just a single boat. It's too big for the stem. The, the petal uh, pearls that it's in the bundle. What did I do with the catalog now? Was it page 18? 
I think it's page 18 we're working on tonight. Yeah, right here, page 19. Right here, it's the petal, uh, uh, the pastel pearl, not petal, pastel pearl. Okay. Oh yeah, I can let you pick uh, colors again. Yeah, uh, Wanda, this is a long time I didn't do that. So next week, I can make you guys pick a uh, color. I'm going to pick a stamp set and you guys can pick the color. Absolutely. That was fun doing that that way. Now I'm going to put that right there with a the glue dot. If I can find them. Wink of Stella on the flower. That sounds very delicious. So we will do that. Going to put that right here. Okay, the linen thread, what I like about that, you can do your bow, then take your bow and spread this, just the bow. So you do a fatter bow, and then the that's still skinny. See how fat it is? So you take your bow and spread that. Spread. Can you see that? I love doing that. Love it. So now I'm going to take my wink of Stella, like somebody said. Oh, still some coming. Okay. And I'm just going to tap some Wink of Stella on this randomly. I don't want to color the whole thing. I want to make, oops, now it was not coming and now it's coming. Woo! Okay, that's okay. It's going to dry lovely. Let me just wipe. Where's my inky rag? Mm. When it dries, it's just going to do a little... Uh, Here we go. Now, let's put, I want this to stay shut when we close it. So we're just going to put in the corner here, okay? We're going to put a little, little something in the corners that we can slide that down. And I am looking, you know what? Let's do... Mm. Where's the other? I'm taking one of this here. So I'm using a punch, but uh, if you don't have the size punch, you can use the die. I'm using a one inch punch. I'm going to go right in this here. Here it is. Oh. Do I have that square? Oh, I do. Okay. Let's find another one. Okay, then it's going to be in the blue. That's okay. I really want in the purple, though. One second. I got all this here. I'm going to bring that right here. Here we go. I didn't went deep enough. The other one is... And then we're going to use one, and then one and a quarter, I'm going to use that with the purple. That's Island Hipper. And we're going to put those two together. Oh, not this one. This one is the square one. We're going to put that right there. Do I want it at this corner? Yeah, because that go down. So now what you're going to do is put a glue dot, not a glue dot, but a dimensional. Let's bring a dimensional. Keep this closed because you want to make sure that the card don't hit that. That's very, very important, okay? 
So I'm going to put that, that the card when it's closed, don't hit this. Remove this. That's any time you want like a close-up. And then you're going to put your circle right on top of that. Et voila! So you could always put a, a pearl in the center of that. So if I can see where I shove those pearls. Okay, here they are. So one, two, three, that's going to make four. So you know me, I'm going to add another one. Right there. I just like to add even numbers. Et voila. How about that? So now, when you get your card, it opened very lovely. You get place to write there. You get more place to write here. But it's a flip fold. Tuck it under. So what do you think of that? Don't judge the mess. Judge the card. Well, you guys don't see much of the mess there. But uh, I got quite the, the mess here. So the card base. So if you want a little recap on that. So the card base itself, so that's going to be the C side, this part, it's eight by four and a quarter, score at five and a half. This flip card here, that's the Highland Ether, it's three and a quarter by nine, score at four and a quarter. Now the top piece, the inside piece, so I'm going to put the layers with the S because those two layers, it is three by four and a quarter. Now, the flap layers, that is two, two and a quarter by four. So the flap layers, it's this here, both of them, this is white and this is the designer series paper. It's two and a quarter by four. So you can take a snapshot of that so you get your measurement. The layers of this insert here, it is three by four and a quarter. So the top it's the same and the inside it's the same. Inside the designer series paper, that it's five and a quarter by four irregular layers. Et voila. Tuck it in. How about that? Was that a winner or not? It turned out pretty much like what I had planned, exception of, um, now I'm trying to put this away, exception of uh, my first sponging there. It was not exactly what I, I had to add the gorgeous grapes. So I, oh, I cannot even find anything on my desk here. Okay, now I find this. I hope that you enjoy uh, tonight Create on the Fly. That was a true statement of Create on the Fly. Uh, it's hard to see when the light and so on. Um, maybe now you can see better. Here we go. So anybody that left a comment um, Sunday, I got a common uh, picker and it's all shovel the comment and it's just pick one comment per name and it pop and generate a winner and I will announce the winner and that's going to be sent to you in the mail but you have to claim the card before Wednesday like I said I cannot keep a pile here this week that week I would go crazy so I announced the winner Sunday so just come and visit my uh, page here Sunday are um, Monday, but it have to be claimed by uh, Wednesday, and then I'm going to mail that lovely card to you. So again, that was the Hydrangea Heaven Bundle. On page 18, 19, that's where you get the suite, and then on page 20, you can get the bundle there if you want the bundle. But the suite, I mean, we use the pearls and so on, the paper, it's part of it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now I'm looking at the card. Do you know what else I could have used in the back in the center? I didn't think about it. I could have used that mercury glass. That would have been lovely. Didn't think about it. 
So till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Don't forget, we're in full season of celebration. So that means with every $50 or $100, you can choose a free product from the celebration brochure. Some are marked at the 100 circle and some are marked at the 50. So that it's in full swing till the end of February, but it's all while supplies last. So if it's something you really would like, I would say order now, especially with uh, COVID. Uh, and it's getting worse before it gets better, put it that way. Um, we got a hard time to have the delivery. They got a hard time for uh, sending it out, bringing the stuff in, and so on. So it's beyond stamping up at this point, you know. Um, so many places. I mean, we went, uh, I say, to the city this week to do a big shopping because we were out of so much. Usually I do the pickup. I could, we went at Sam's Club, and I couldn't believe all the tab the shelves so many was empty i'm like what's going on so and they say it's they got a tough time bringing truck they don't have enough truck for the production that they need right now so it's so many that shop you know uh online and so on so get your stuff while you can thank you so much have a lovely week have a good rest of the evening till next time happy stamping my friend bye-bye for now